I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 27th day of April. Got uh, some pretty decent weather for the next couple of days, but a lot of questions involving the weather for the weekend. Let's see if we can stir some answers up. Let's check the uh, Skycam images this afternoon. First off, coming from Mount Cheha, Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. Elevation up there at the peak, 2,407 feet. And I uh, got some patches of blue amongst the clouds. There's the uh, Birmingham sky cam that's looking east-southeast from the Daniel Building. The sky mostly cloudy there, but way down south, severe clear with the Gulf Shore sky cam. That's on top of the Phoenix Alt Suites, in this case looking back to the east, back down toward Orange Beach. There you go. Look at that uh, strong Vortmax coming down through Tennessee. Very cold air aloft with that, producing uh, some showers around it. Uh, off to the west, new trough coming into the Pacific coast. Temperatures way below average. Look at Coleman, 54 degrees. Uh, elsewhere, uh, 62 for Birmingham and Anniston. The average high today, 66. So uh, Birmingham running at, uh, or the average high, 77. So Birmingham running at 15 degrees below average for today. And there's the radar at 220. Got some uh, showers around, mainly northeast of Birmingham. And because of the very cold air aloft, some of those showers producing some small hail, which often happens in a case like this, even with no thunder and lightning. But all of those will fade away this evening, and the sky will go clear tonight. Up on the uh, watch warning map, those are wind advisories around here for the Birmingham County warning area and some of the other states around the southeast and also out west, most of that uh, wind advisories. And in terms of the convective outlook, we've got a risk on day three, which is Thursday. The standard severe weather risk, a slight risk all the way from Abilene to Minneapolis-St. Paul. That includes Oklahoma City, Wichita, Kansas City, Omaha, and Des Moines. In the rain for the next five days, this is valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. The bullseye just south of Little Rock, 3.3 inches. And we could be setting up for a really heavy rain event a little north and west of here. Maybe some big flooding problems, as you'll see. Let's look at the uh, 12Z GFS. This is valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. This says at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Uh, the disturbance that brought the uh, showers today, well to the east. New trough beginning to carve out west, but we're in between. So a nice day. Sunny and warmer. The high should be close to 70. Thursday, ridge begins to nose in, so we warm up. Sunny with a high close to 80. And Friday, there's your big western trough. And again, it's going to be a very interesting battle between the western trough and the warm ridge over Florida. And uh, somebody in there is going to have some issues. We'll look at the surface chart, and you can see the gulf is wide open. Look at those streamlines coming out of the western gulf. And uh, more than likely, the uh, main chance of stronger storms and heavy rain will be west of here. But no doubt, there could be a shower or storm around in that warm air advection pattern. But I don't think it rains all day. Uh, other than that, just kind of warm and breezy with a high in the mid-80s and very humid, almost like summer. And then Saturday, there's the deal. The 588 ridge holds over Florida. The big trough stays out west. The main dynamics a little west of here. And accordingly, at the surface, the uh, main batch of showers and storms north and west of here. From uh, Little Rock up to uh, about uh, Cincinnati. And that is suggesting there might be a shower Saturday, but not much rain. We'll mention just the chance of a shower or storm, but uh, I don't think rain's going to be a big, big problem. In Sunday, really, it's the same deal. You can see the core of the convection focus just north and west of here, Nashville, uh, down to about Monroe, Louisiana, clipping the northwestern corner of the state. So from Birmingham south, it looks like Sunday would be dry with storms not that far away. And you can see how close this thing is and understand this is only Tuesday, so this could change by the time we get to the weekend. But we're going to lean in the direction of the bulk of the organized rain staying north and west of here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday, it drifts on in here. Uh, that looks like our main batch of showers and storms early next week. And then on Tuesday, it'll surface low forms uh, down around uh, Dothan. And the rain begins to move out. And by Wednesday, the 5th of May, we go dry. And a peek at the end of the forecast on the 13th of May. And look, every time we've looked out here, every run looks radically different. So obviously there's no confidence. This time you got a very strong shortwave north of us and some hint of storms around here. But again, uh, this is way out there in voodoo country with little skill in a specific forecast. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless.